guys. Thanks for joining me this afternoon. Um, this is Jan with Serendipity Soul Acrylic Art. And today I've decided that I would really like to do a Dutch pour. I keep seeing a lot of these really pretty methods um, put out on YouTube that really inspire me with bright, beautiful colors. But I really like the, um, the ocean colors as well with the blues, the aqua greens, a hint of white, but I really like that splash of pink. So today I'm going to be using Artist Loft Light Magenta, Artist Loft Aqua Green, Artist Loft Metallic White, uh, Artist Loft Ultramarine Blue, and then the standard Artist Loft um, Flow Acrylic White. All of these are mixed 50-50 paint to my pouring medium ratio, which is 60% Elmer's Blue All, 30% Water, 10% Flow Troll. And as always, if I have to uh, bring something down a little bit thinner, I always use my 90% water, 10% Floetrol mixture. Um, today's colors I've already pre-mixed and I went ahead and I put a base of white on my canvas. This is a 10 by 10 um, Artist Loft level one canvas. Um, I'm loving these bright pinks, but along with these blues. And I, I, I also did a, a little bit of a lighter blue with a little bit of white with the plain aquamarine blue. And there's a little bit less of this in here as well. I think I actually might need a little bit more of that blue. I don't think I put enough in that bottle. So let me very quickly, trying to keep my, my videos down under 10 or 12 minutes so that uh, you guys aren't just listening to me talk the entire time. It's boring for everybody and I don't want I don't want people to get tired of what I'm doing and what I'm trying. So um, now I had already mixed these colors and I have used a drop of OGX coconut milk oil in each of these. Um, I have it in a little dropper, which makes it a whole lot easier to mix for me. So I'm going to go ahead and put one drop in this one, mix it real good again. I've got a little bit more blue to put on my canvas. And let's get busy uh, trying to load this canvas with paint. I think I'm going to do diagonal in a swirl this way. I'm going to start with this really pretty white magenta. I'm trying to control my colors so that I don't have big, huge splashes of color. But I want, I really want some of that pink in there. I'm loving this magenta or this aqua. I want the aquamarine, ultramarine. Can't talk today, you guys. A little bit of the ultramarine blue in there. And then this is the lighter blue that I made with the ultramarine blue and the white. I'm going to put a little bit of a drizzle of white over the top of this. Colors are sitting right on top like I want them to. I apologize for my voice, you guys. It's been a bit of a rough week. Um, but I was itching to paint, and I haven't had an opportunity to do that in a while. I think this is still just a little bit heavy. My Artist Loft Studio Acrylic White that I load in these um, bottles, I'm going to put just a few more drops of my water and flow a mix in this and give it another shake. Um, when I'm flowing the color over the top, flooding the outside edge of these paints, I think it's a little bit thick. Um, and that's making it difficult to find uh, the colors underneath after I flood the color around, after I flood the white around the colors. So let's add this white. On this. I'll get rid of that in a minute. And then before I blow these colors out, I'm going to torch this just to get rid of the air bubbles because I just shook that white pretty good and I know it's full of air bubbles in there. That's two I see right there. Another one. Okay. Now, let's see what we get. Apologize, my 
Okay, I think my white is still too heavy. I'm going to have to blow this. that you can see this. don't want to have happen is to make mud. So I'm going to torch this, see what I get under there. Several bubbles again from the air. You guys know from watching my videos, it's very difficult for me to stop playing sometimes. And when I see an area that needs a burst of color, it's really hard to step away from the canvas. I try not to, but I think with these paints, we're just a little bit thick still. Um, they need a little pop. bringing up more cells and a little bit more of that softness really not liking this little area up here I'm just going to scrape it off and add more white it's just a little bit of a stray but I want some negative space there I don't want that showing out. pretty and soft. See if anything comes up under that. And make sure I get all these air bubbles out because like I said I just loaded more white on there. I love this color combination. I really really do. Hope that you can see this. Turn this. Very bright. I will be sure to post a picture um, as soon as I get it stabilized a little bit and check all my edges. But thank you for watching what I'm doing. I appreciate every view and every subscriber that I get. Um, it's my pure intention to put a little bit more beauty back out into the world. And that is my absolute reason for doing what I'm doing. It gets, it just, it, it gives me so much pleasure to be able to, to make something beautiful and be creative. Um, 
you feel like you uh, would like to subscribe, feel free to do so. Um, you can hit the notifications button, get notified every time I put a new video up. And if you like um, what I'm doing here, please feel free to give me a thumbs up. I hope you have a bright and beautiful day. Uh, blessings to each and every one of you, and I will talk to you again very soon. Thank you for watching again. Have a great day. Bye.